first patron question is from Hum Donny, asking, firstly, where do you stand on the issue of Russia placing their military in Ukraine? Do you think it is a possible World War III? Um, I'm going to pass this primarily to Armin. Uh, okay. Because I, it's just a mess. Wait. It's freaky. All right. Yeah. All right. So first of all, World War Three, no. Okay. I can't believe how many people keep saying that every time something happens. We're like, World War Three is coming. No, it's not. It's not going to happen. Okay. It's not World War Three. Okay. Like they, I mean, at least now we're talking about Russia. They said the last time they said like this is going to happen, it was with Iran. Iran is going to cause World War Three. Like, really? Are you joking? Iran, like, if Iran had go, you know, remember when they took out Qasem Soleimani? Like, people like Kyle Kolinsky was like, oh, my God, World War Three is starting. It's like, World War Three with who? Is every war not going to be con described as World War Three? Like, if Iran goes to war with the United States, who's going to back up Iran? Like, do you think Russia and China are going to go war with, like, the entire West over Iran? Like, so that was ridiculous. At least now we're talking about a nuclear power. But guess what? They're nuclear powers. They're not going to go to war with each other, okay? Their economies are so interlinked. Do, do you think, like, these countries are suicidal? Like, do you think nuclear powers are going to go to war with each other? Like, of course. Okay. Oh, you're, oh, wait, I have to be careful. You're, you're a patron. I don't have, have to be. <laughs> I have to be nice to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Uh, no, okay. This is just my tone, okay? They're not going to go to war with each other, okay? Like, some some people are like, oh, there's going to be World War Three over Taiwan. Taiwan, for example, China and the United States going to war with each other. I mean, what planet are you living in? Why would China go to war with the United States over Taiwan? Do you know, like, how much, do you know how much, do you know how much U.S. dollar China holds? Do you know how much U.S. debt China holds? Do you know what happens to all that U.S. debt if it goes to war with the United States of America? Do you know how much stuff China sells to the United States? Why would they want to go to war with the United States? Not, none of these countries want to go to war with each other. It's not, that's not going to happen. Okay, so there, there's that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and Russia is not going to go to war with the United States of America over Ukraine. Like, Russia is like... Okay, think about this. Russia is like the, all, all this stuff is doing. All of this stuff is doing. It's because it's so paranoid and scared about the possibility of NATO getting closer to its borders. Okay, because now if I have the some military presence, it might like it's going to be more pressure on Russia. So you think over that fear, they're going to be like. Oh yeah, we're fearing more pre more military presence of NATO across, right next to our border. So why not risk going to war with the superpower of the planet? Like, like what? Over like so you you're worried about something that to stop that you're gonna do something that is a million times more scary. Like uh, that's why I'm saying this is not gonna cause World War Three or anything like that, right? So there's that. Um. So uh, yeah, but by the way, when I said when you say World War Three, I'm assuming United States is going to be involved. So that's why I'm saying that's impossible for Russia to try to escalate that to that po to that point. Okay, so that was the second part of the question. But the first part of the question is actually more more important and more serious. Okay, uh, where do you stand on the issue of Russia placing their military in Ukraine? Um, I mean, okay, this I I think that they need to be crushed okay putin needs to be crushed and humiliated this needs to backfire on them and i think it, it will backfire on them okay whether this ends in a, some form of a conflict like war all right in the same way it happened in georgia and the same way it happened before in U ukraine and they took some land and stuff before i want this to be you know, I want the CCP in China and Putin to completely fail, okay? Like, I don't know if people appreciate how important the world liberal order is. Like, I keep listening to everybody talking about this has nothing to do with the United States. We should, United States should only get involved if it's like, if it's, if the, if it's like, 
affecting United States or maybe when they get to NATO countries, maybe then the United States should be, you are losing your mind. Okay. Everybody, everybody who keeps thinks that United States should stay out of this. You're, you're insane. Okay. We have ever since world war two, we have had this United liberal order that has created a system of trade and somewhat stability around the planet that everybody is benefiting from it so much and they don't understand how important these liberal orders uh, uh, liberal orders are people look at what's happening in afghanistan or like in syria and they think or in yemen and they think like oh everywhere is just like war and things are fucked okay they don't understand that things are fucked but they have never been this stable okay just because you keep seeing war on the news doesn't mean that the relative stability that we're enjoying today is actually is is it, it does mean that the relative stability we're enjoying today is still higher than we have ever enjoyed in the history of humankind okay this this order that we have created ever since world war ii have you are living at the best of times and if you don't understand this you're not going to be able to appreciate the current system that the that the world powers have created that you're everybody, everybody, including these tyrants and democracy, everybody is benefiting from it and they don't understand it. You can't fuck with that. Okay. Tyrants are coming in and they're trying to create their new own orders. They're going around and because like so, the somewhat economic power that they have, one of them from gas and oil and the other one, because it, it tried capitalism for a while and it like really worked out for it. And now they're like supporting a new they want to support a new uh, other kind of order like a, the tyrants version of order right they're going around and authoritarian they're supporting other authoritarian regimes and they want to make sure that this whole democratic model is not the only model and they need to fail they need to be crushed they need to be humiliated this needs to be like as the sinking black hole for Russia. Either if they go into this war, they need to become bankrupt because of it. And if they don't go to this war, they need to be embarrassed and humiliated. And I want Ukraine to join NATO. I know people like I know that's not going to probably happen, but I want them. I want them to be like, you know what? Fuck you. Now we realize that how much we need to uh, the, the how much we need the defense of the West. And I want the West to also be like, okay, we weren't considered like we, even if we didn't want Ukraine to be part of NATO before, now we do, okay? Because why? Because fuck you, because that's why, all right? Like uh, you can't do anything. Like I want, but I like I want the West to be more united over this. Like what the fuck is happening, right? Like France and like Germany, like guys, you're talking about defending a system that I know like Germany love it's like it's sucking on Russia's you know tits for gas, right? but i know like okay but guys you you're already committed to green energy okay you're already trying to save the planet and stuff i know temporarily this is going to be like really hard for you because of the high high energy prices and all but over the long term this is an investment this like in defending this world this liberal order that you all are like everybody is benefiting from this is one thing that the world needs to thank the united states from because the united states is contributing more to to maintaining this order than anybody else and everybody else is also benefiting from it right and you know how this is what i'm saying uh, i agree with france as well i'm i'm all for you, the european union creating its own army and stuff okay but it's never going to be the same as the united states like come on like like even if you want to do that france can't go around and keep like oh, like oh we need to be separate from the united states you can't do shit with the united without the united states okay that ar that army that you all are benefiting from okay that is something that you are going to need dec like you are going to be way behind for many decades to come okay you need to be thankful and you need to maintain your unity with the united states and every single other country that is defending democratic values, okay? And I know people are going to be like, well, United States uh -huh, defending democratic values. Is that a joke? Yes, I know United States is not the best, you know, defender of human rights and democratic values across the world. But it's the, it's the best you fucking have right now, okay? When it comes to defending against the rise of fucking authoritarian governments and tyranny, 
okay, when it comes to the rise of the CCP and Putin going around and doing old kind of imperialism, we're not talking neo-imperialism. We're like, oh, we like, we give you like money and then now you have to like, oh, we're like opening McDonald's and you're like, oh, new imperialism. They're doing the traditional imperialism, which no, may I remind you, nobody else in the entire planet is doing anymore, okay? This is pre-World War II shit. We just go and be like, hey, we're here. This is our land now. Okay, what is this shit? We have the whole entire world has matured way past that. And Russia is like doing that too. And then we're like, hey, should we be united against Russia? Should we send armies there or not armies? Yes, you should send armies there. What the hell are you doing? Okay, this is the stuff that you built in. These, all, all these systems that you built, NATO, United Nations, like all of these things that you've built, okay, was to stop shit like this. What are you doing? Act united. Put your differences aside. Shut this shit down. Shut it down. Okay? Like, this is an obvious... Guys, this is not a hard thing to be on the right side of. Okay? This is the battle between democratic values. This is the fight between democracy and authoritarianism. Okay? And so obviously so like one reason putin doesn't want ukraine to go be aligned with the west is because is because is it worried about russia being hopeful for democracy he wants to crush like you was not ukraine ukrainians are like very close to russians okay like historically traditionally everything so if democracy succeeds in ukraine it's going to look really bad for putin they want to they, these are not, this is not just about Russia. This is about maintaining the liberal order around the world, something that everything, is, everybody is benefiting from. And also, also for defending democracy and showing that that model works and showing that the democratic countries are allied and they will defend each other. And if the, if the fight is between the tyranny and the, is between tyranny and democracy, democratic countries will stand up with each other and defend each other to crush tyranny. Okay. This is about more than just Ukraine. This is about defending democracy, okay? So if you do not support whatever country you're in, if you do not support whatever democratic country that you're in, if you don't support your leaders to say so, to saying fuck you to Putin and not on our watch, then you're part of the problem, okay? Yes. I feel like the best contribution I've ever had to this show was just sitting here listening to you with my sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Putin is trying to gain concessions through fear? I agree. Yes. It needs to back, I think that's it needs what to this comes down to. It needs to backfire. To, as per usual. It needs to backfire. You can't fuck around like this. This is yeah, not crazy. Is, yeah. I just think that in like all these different NATO countries domestically, there's just not the appetite for intervention. And I think that's going to be a problem. Because when he's saying, Susanna just looks like she's chilling at a spoken word poetry lounge. Casey's <laughs> he's like, snap, 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 snap. <laughs> oh, I should just do that when you're making a good point today. Just be like, yes. <laughs> Um, Does anybody have any disagreements with what I said? Um, <laughs> Cajun American is saying democracy is good. What a hot take. <laughs> well, I mean, apparently it is. Apparently it is because it's you need to do more than just saying like democracy good, tyranny bad. Okay. You actually need to contribute. You need to actually pay the price in defending it. Okay. So democracy good. Like, hey, we just, oh, we're, we're for democratic values. Really? Well, show it. Pay the price for it. Stand up and defend it. So actually, that's a very good point, Gaijin American. I don't know if that was like supposed to be like a democracy, saying democracy good is not enough. Anyway. Um, that oxymoron, who is our Hindu for person, said U.S. won't get involved. It's too much cost against Russia, but it's going to be bad. U.S. just got involved. They sent they sent more troops to Poland and some another country. So I don't know what you're talking about. U.S. US maybe is, he means I, like direct conflict. 
well, nobody's planning direct conflict unless Russia starts a conflict. Okay, so I don't. U.S. Okay, so U.S. is not getting as involved as we're like we like. All right, so Canada actually is getting more involved than United States, which is unbelievable. Okay, so thank you to Trudeau for that. Um, but United States is getting involved. United States has already been involved. They they they're sending, they're supporting, they're sending. Um, military aid, you know, um, equipment and weapons and everything to Ukraine. So, so I don't know what you're talking. Like, maybe you need to be more specific about what you mean. Well, by also involved. they have com NATO commitments. An attack against one is an attack against all. Yeah, well, Ukraine is not in the NATO. Well, that's the problem. Yes, but it's clearly one of they the need to, Yeah. So what they need to do is that they need to change this stupid rule that they have in NATO that so nobody can join NATO while they have a conflict or something. Okay. So, you know, so you, you know, I think like R Russia is going to keep maintaining a conflict in Ukraine so that <laughs> based on the Ukraine's own, because of NATO's own rules, there's not like they just need to change that law. So, hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.